Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, hopefully everyone's doing well. Back at it, ready to have some fun with Old Forester Barrel Strength Rye. <laughs> hey, but before we get started, a couple quick updates. Uh, number one, uh, just want to say thank you for uh, you know over the last several videos had a lot of views. I just want to you know give everyone a huge thank you for helping me cross. I crossed over the six thousand subscriber mark. <sighs> <laughs> so thanks for all the love and uh, the support and uh, also a huge thank you to my two new patrons so uh, Matt W and Robert K appreciate you gentlemen thank you for supporting the bourbon judge and becoming patrons and thank you for helping to make all of this to come to fruition as well also a huge shout out to all my patrons in general as well for always supporting me and helping out and uh, thanks again for, just for again for everyone who watches the channel always love the insight the the comments uh, we always go back and forth it's just honestly just a blast so I appreciate all of you so thank you all right so let's let's take a little trip in history if you will uh, I think it was like two three weeks ago I released a video called like the top seven either bourbons or just whiskeys that I couldn't find in 2021 guess what was on that list that one <laughs> and then uh just actually last week uh as part of my top five uh rise of 2021 i had some great rise on that list but yours truly this one right here was not on that list because i didn't have it odds are just the way life is uh right at the time as i'm kind of making that uh video uh actually end up exchanging a bottle with a friend a friend wanted a bottle I had and I wanted a bottle that one right here that he had and uh, it just kind of worked out so it's kind of funny though but but in that video all the comments of my top five rise of 2021 everyone said bourbon judge if you had the old Forester barrel strength rye I guarantee it would be in this top five so I'm gonna go ahead and review this one today now that I actually do have it in my possession and see two things number one how good is it? Is it really the truth? And number two, would it would have be, would it have beat out uh, my number one rye of 2021, which is the uh, Michter's Barrel Strength Rye? We shall see. Woo! All right, but we're gonna focus on Old Forester. So let's talk, let's talk a little bit about history for Old Forester. So I, a couple of things. Number one, I will put the link up above. I've reviewed 1910 Old Forester, 1920, the Bottled and Bond. So I'm, I'm not going to go in too, too in-depth about Old Forester. Uh, click on one of the links up above so you can check out one of those older videos where I give a ton of history about Old Forester. But what I will say is, going back in 2019, Old Forester um, changed the game. They introduced a new recipe for the first time in over 150 years, and they released Old Forester 100 Proof rye so they introduced a rye basically the first new recipe in over 150 years they released this bad boy here uh the 100 proof rye now this one here really good bottle um it's a 30 dollar bottle and uh it came out in 2019 and you know we all love well not should say all of us but many of us love a barrel strength product so when this one came out okay it's great it's a 100 proof bottle i'm sorry 100 proof uh rye it's solid juice but everyone's waiting and hoping, when is Old Forester going to come out with a barrel strength version of the Old Forester rye? And in this past year, in June of 2021, they finally came out with a barrel strength version of their rye. So we have this bad boy here. Uh, each one is always a single barrel and always at barrel strength. So the MSRP, a little bit higher than this one. 100 proof is only $30. This one... $80 so $80 MSRP extremely hard to find uh, so that's part of the challenge hence the reason why I wasn't able to find it in 2021 myself but an $80 bottle super hard to find um, but it's got a, it's won a lot of accolades everyone in the whiskey community seems to love this bottle I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit just to kind of dive into it real quick all right so I was extremely excited to get this via a trade it definitely worked out very well Let's pour a little bit just so we can kind of dive into this bad boy. Um, ugh. All right, let me let me get into the nose real quick. I do love that label too. I mean, it's a nice bottle. I never saw this anywhere by me on the East Coast. I'm sure it was around, but I, I, I personally did not see this anywhere. Hence the reason why it took so long to get this bad boy. <laughs> all right, so the bottle I have comes in at 128.4 proof. Wow, a rye, 128.4. All right, whoo. Let's get into this nose and color. So from a color standpoint, as you can tell, that is super dark, which I like, very nice. 
All right, let's get to this nose. Oh man, I'm wondering because I've had the uh, the 100 before, you know, and the 100 is a really good product. Nice, very well balanced. Um, has some kick to it, but not too much of a kick. Slightly thin, but I'm wondering how different is this bad boy, the 128.4 proof, in this case, you know, for this bottle here at least, how much different is it versus the uh, the standard 100 proof? So we shall see. And the last thing I will say about uh, the Old Forcer, no exact age statement. Um, they don't give an age statement, unfortunately, for, uh, for the single barrel ride, but that's okay, all good. Mm, goodness gracious. The nose, what I like about it though, the nose is, there's a couple things in it. It's the traditional uh, Old Forester, very like uh, creamy, uh, tons of like maple syrup in the nose. But what's different than the bourbon versus this one in the rye, I'm getting a lot more like chocolate and like cinnamon in, in this one in the nose. A lot more chocolate. Wow, this is nice actually. <laughs> this is damn nice, wow. This nose is like, mmm. Wow, I get chocolate, some cinnamon, some pepper, some maple syrup. Oh, man. Maybe even like a, a hint of like a licorice in here as well. The nose is absolutely amazing. Really nice, very clean and crisp. Mmm. Wow, so let's just wonder. I wonder how good this is compared to uh, good old Michter's. We shall see. Hey, three quick easy favors for me real quick. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. I love going back and forth. I talk to people all day long. <laughs> Mrs. Judge is always like, who are you talking to now? I'm like one of my subscribers. <laughs> but uh, hit the subscribe button and make sure you also hit the bell so you get the notification each time I put out content. Oh man, gosh, this is so nice. Mm, 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 mm. All right, hey. Peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate everyone out there. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. Wow. Oh. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. There's a reason why I can't play poker. Woo. So I'm leaving a little bit right now just because I want to come back to it after I try that one. But I will say, everything from the nose does transfer to, uh, to the palate. It, number one, has a nice long finish. Um, what I like about the palate is that in the nose, you had a lot of like um, chocolate, a little bit of pepper, black, uh, li some licorice in there as well, and then some maple syrup, all that came through to the palate. Every single thing came through to the palate. That, just straight up, honestly, is an amazing pour. And I mean an amazing pour. I'm wondering how it holds up versus that bad boy. So I'm gonna come back to it real quick. Oh man. I can um, easily say though, hands down, if I had this bottle in 2021, this easily would have been in my top five. That is for sure. But the question is, is it better than my Michter's? I don't know. This is a tough one, boy. This is a tough one. We shall see, folks. We shall see. All right, just gonna pour a little bit here. I mean, just get a little bit. All right. Mmm. Gosh, I do love this mixer, though. Oh. Every single time, I'm telling you, it's like clockwork. Campfire in a bottle. Every single pour. Mmm. All right. Cheers, everybody. Oh, wow. Damn. Woo, baby. I don't know. That's a tough one. These are neck and neck. The, uh, and there's a little drop left in this mixer, so why, why leave it in there? Mmm. This is because the mixers, yeah, lower proof, less than 110. The mixers is not as bold and long in the finish versus that one. That one, the old Forester has a lot more of a kick, way more powerful because the is coming in just slightly under 110. This one here at 128.4 is a lot more bold. 
it almost kind of depends on what mood you're in. I mean, you know, if I'm looking, I mean, it's, it's nice and cold out. I might actually prefer the Old Forester because it's cold out, you know, it's winter time. And this has a hell of a kick to it, where this is just such a, I mean, it's such a fabulous experience from start to finish. That's a tough one, boy. It might be like a one, I don't even know. I mean, I could flip a coin and say 1A, 1B, 1A, 1B. But either way, the most important thing is absolutely that is a fantastic pour. Uh, you guys know me. I never, ever leave good whiskey in a glass. And I mean ever. So uh, why start now? Cheers, everybody. definitely a buy. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Cheers. Later.